going on, y'all? We're back at it. I think this is episode six. We're gonna do some more quests. It's gonna be a story little mission. We might even hit the part tonight. Who knows? Who knows? Talk to Ashley, baby girl Ashley. Okay, with the Peloton. MP, you want to have some fun? Take a look at this. Hell yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Rails grinded on skateboard. I got you. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> what else? What else, Ashley? Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk to all those people. And then hopefully grind some rails. And do all those little little itty bitty bitty bitties. Okay, grind it all. Some time? I think you're really gonna like this. Okay. 1300 points in the rank. Jesus. Still has this season's top styles in stock and Jesus, bro, that's a lot. This labor. Alright, who's close to me? <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. We can just probably just swing on the outside. That's probably how they're gonna have it. Yeah, that's one. One rail. Oh, that would have been sweet. Ooh. It's like Michael Parsons just, okay, twisted himself. Like a little pretzel. MP, I've got something for you. Emphasis on the defense. <laughs> it looks like defense is no one stopping anybody, at, huh? faster but I think that's why they want you to get like the go-kart and shit MP 
him in the middle of nowhere. What the hell? MP, ready to take your game to the next level? Yeah, what do you think of this? Let me see, let me see. By the way, we've only seen one fucking thing we can grind. What about this? What about this, bitch? Ah, did that count? I don't know. challenge sure we see hell these are all fucking boo-boo ones I gotta fix my jump shot. Kinda hate it. Alright. You already know I'm looking for that little Marcus Aldridge. Is there a dirk? I might not be a good enough shooter. Zion. Fuck. I gotta get used to it, huh? Definitely no whites anymore, huh? Okay, okay, okay. There we go. I'm just doing it way too early, I can see that. That looks good to me. Uh 
Huh? Last two. There we go. There we go. Oh, Owen, oh wow. Okay. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm just gonna do the coach's drill. <laughs> coach. No coach's drill? Hey, man. Focused on your workout. Damn, too many NPCs. Cutscene, cutscene time. <laughs> well, I guess you know I'm here to see Othello, right? Indeed, I do. Yeah. And he's ready for you if you want to okay. head out. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Hey, of course. Think, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll see you. So, how are things? I can't complain. That's good. Well, I would have catch my mic. But you might be anxious, confused, upset. Those sound like complaints to me. I mean, I didn't say that's how I feel. I'm just trying to guess what you think I should be feeling. I mean, obviously, I met my goals, and I'm still not starting, so... Yeah, what's up with that, bro? I mean, that's how normal people will feel, I think. Not me, though. I'm good. <clears throat> is this funny to you, MP? Nope. It's yeah. the farthest thing from it. Oh, no. Now, is this something that you want to ask me instead of just staring at me? You've been doing everything right up until this point. Don't start what? making the wrong kind of waves now. No, nah, I'm really trying to be as respectful as I can, Othella. But I feel like I've been giving you the truth, and you haven't been giving me... You've been giving me nothing from mm -hmm. day one. I mean, me from my back. first day with this team, I have done everything, everything that you've asked. And you insisted that I follow your lead, and I did it, man. I did it. I understand. I didn't pay attention to all the off-course stuff that Phil and, and, and... I understand. Look, these kind of things happen. I'm not happy about it either. I'm not starting, man. Sit down. Let's talk about it. This is just the business, MP. I it's get like that. a kid and a, uh, I a get parent. the business part of it. But I'm really upset at the fact that you have me sitting here feeling like I'm doing something wrong when all I'm trying to do is help the team. You got people in the front office that can't come to a mutual, de mutual decision. Racism. We're supposed to be a team, man. Right? Right. Too much drama for five games. I'm sorry. I read the room wrong. Yeah, you fucking did. You hurt my feelings. You hurt me. I appreciate your apology. And they hurt. It's not like me to hold grudges, but we good. We good. Just do what Freddie asked for now. All right? I'm gonna see what I can do long term. I'm good. I can do it myself. I can make connections within the community myself. Thank you, though. Very well. Seems like we're on the same page. Anything else? Oh, I'm good, man. We good, man. We good. We good. I ain't crying. I ain't crying. Okay. I'm asking for Trey because of you. Yeah. MP. Head up. Your time's coming. I promise. Bro, why did you even call me over? And when it does, I'm never going to look back at you. You bad. The 
see if we can find Ronnie 2K, man. here at any point later. Actually, I guess we could try and do that now. Hold on. We just skate. This has to be the whole achievement. <laughs> it's gotta be longer than, uh, damn, it's a long ass run. Defying physics, huh? Oh! Who this? Hey, why he going faster? That's how you shred the gnar. That is how you shred the gnar. that like 10 times that was only 202 well five times I guess let's do it one more time huh one more time one more time From watching drop all right just for a cover huh okay now let's go hopefully we'll find our Ronnie 2k Now we'll play a game so we can finish that, uh, control the narrative, which is key. Ali, 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 Oxen Free. some of these rails let's go railing bro Ooh. 
drying out the noise. Drying out the noise. The noise boys. Anyone who ever collected uh, basketball cards. It's time to light the jack-o'-lanterns, leave out some candy, and watch some hoops. This should be a spooktacular game. <laughs> You're right. Is that racist? He's changing it up here. MP announced as the NBA Player of the Week. What an honor. It is, and, and I must say, a very deserving selection. MP had a great week. As soon as I step into the court, step tonight. onto the court, it's over. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the back. MVP. So the Houston Five right now. Alperon Shangoon out there with Kenyon Martin. Oh, so. Then there's Kevin Porter. Then it's David Nwaba. Oh, and it's Christopher fight. in at the two. Hey, uh, little known fact. It's tipped. I went to uh, middle school with David Nawaba. Here's George. He went to Palms Middle School. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. I'm not gonna say I Just him good up awareness from Leonard there. Feeding a wide open guy instead of forcing his own shot. And that was streaking right to is the mobile one drive. Yeah, staying with it and looking to expand this margin. Hard nosed takes like that will certainly help. On the offense, y'all running. Bad thing. Shangoon, a screen on Jackson. Porter finds Shangoon. Stay on that ball. For Porter. Two on the clock. I got both. The Rockets again can't hit. The Clippers in the lead. I got Bajie. Go, 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 go. George passes to Jackson. Inside. Here, shake foul? and bake. Defended by Shangoon. Shake and bake misses. George against Porter. Pass to Martin. Shangoon, a screen on Morris. Martin misses. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. George outside. To the middle. Here's Shake and Bake. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. Big pop up And the Clippers right lead by action. eight. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Porter against Jackson. Ah! Here's Shangoon. He got a piece of it. Yeah. The three from Nuwaba. No, 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 no. Six it from distance. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the heart, <laughs> and he capitalizes. <laughs> to the paint. And that one's good. Shake and bake. Six points for him. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Clippers. Well, their length and anticipation reflected in their shot blocking totals, making the extra effort to close things out. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? My goodness. And that one's good. Shake and bake. Too fast, too And it's slithery. a nine-point Los Angeles lead. Too Part fast, of MP's man. appeal when he was drafted was his potential to be a leader, a role his team hopes he'll grow into. Yeah, you heard that about him back in college, that the locker room looked to him. I could definitely see that translating to the league over time. Hey, I got to admit, I like how the Rockets are approaching their rebuild. Best this screen. summer, drafting Chicken Jabari wing. Smith and Tari East to go with the other young the first talents. time I've ever been called for it that. It feels funny. like the picture is starting to come into focus in Houston. Batum is checked in for Los Angeles. Kennard comes in for George. Porter with it. He's got five. That's his third basket of five shots. Solid work. Scoring well this quarter, picking up steam as he goes. He's not Los exactly Angeles a has gone one for five from three point range. A cold start. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm through, I'm through. Down low. 
Batum outside. Pass to Kennard. To the inside. Picked it out of midair. Outside quarter. Here's Christopher. Shoots over Jackson. Christopher misses. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth. That was a driving layup. I suck at those. Houston has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Pass to Porter. Watch left. Watch left. A minute 37 left in the opening quarter. Christopher misses. The Clippers shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Here's Shake and Bake. Oh, he jams it straight down. That's a textbook wow. example. Give it to MP, you know? If you drive and it ain't there, just reset. And for Shangun. There's a minute 26 left to play in the first. Right side, Porter. Pass to Martin. Ooh, Morris with a steal. Here's Shake and Bake. He's guarded by Martin. Here's Shake and Bake. No good. A bit long that time. The Rockets trail. To the paint. Once I get my badge. Oh, no question. Once I get my badge, it's just over. What the fuck does that mean? Am I still? He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. And Kevin Porter picks up the foul. That's his first. That's how you D up, MP. That's how you D up. Here's Batum. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Oh. Ball. 40 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Outside Porter. Takes the three. Not going to go that time. Nuaba against Jackson. To the middle. Flicks the pass. Martin outside. On the wing, Porter. Here's Shake and Bake. Last game out, he had 44. And we've reached the <laughs> Kind of a tough game. Not balling, I guess that I can't keep scoring back to back. UK oh. Sports. I also need to chase the. Uh, and for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, you know, the defense guys is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. Jackson and Kennard, the guards. Marcus Morris out there with Nicholas Batum. And it's shake and bake in at the center spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting the rock well at 46%. Out to the right wing. Inside. And it's Martin with the rebound. And it's Houston like is shooting row, around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Gordon against Batum. I got yours, I got Outside, yours. Green. What's up, Green? I got you locked. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's hammered home by Green. Launching off the ground and throwing it down with ease. Boy, can Green get up. When it comes to Jalen Green now, it's obvious he can score. That's a given. But he's also a remarkable athlete. And his oh, my God. He really jumps out at you, if you will. Why did it make me take Trying that to type of shot? Here. I have no idea. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch off. I don't know exactly they could really use a basket. Yet, that shit's stupid. Batum against Gordon. 
Here's Garuba. Batum with the defensive effort. Man, some of the dunks we see from Green. Throwdowns are just insane. No doubt about it, B.A. I mean, this young fella has a bright future ahead of him. He's got confidence. He obviously is a tremendous athlete. He looks like he's got the work get ethic that's going to allow him to realize his potential. I'm locked up. They won't let me in. Nuaba against Kennard. They won't Nuaba, let me pass to Green. Martin with a screen on Jackson. And here's Martin. Pass to Garuba. Oh, what a big. Outside the arc. He had a layup. It's rebounded by Morris. Who the fuck does that? And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Hey, yo, right here. Now here's Nwaba, defended by Kennard. Oh, and that one is hammered home. <laughs> Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Exactly. I mean... When you're running neck to neck, I have those kinds of I mistakes tip the scale. I hate that. I gotta fix that as well. I hit a three. I hit a three. Why I hit a three. Pass to Gordon. Here's Garuba. Oh, somehow misses the one handed flush. Down low. Here's Shaken Bay. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Oh, oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Pass to Garuba. Out of bounds. It'll be the Clippers <laughs> ball. And the Clippers making a change here. Checked in. And a change for the Rockets. Shangun's checked in. Los Angeles is going 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Shake and Bake. And count it. 8 of 14 now. Slithery. He's rolling. That's not a slip. You know, is really good at sharing the ball. An unselfish guy who does a lot of winning things. Noaba, pass to Green. Inside. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it for the Clippers. Covington's. Batum, and it's Powell in for Kennard. Smith, he's checked in for the Rockets. The Clippers have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. And there's the screen. To the inside. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Boy, when you see the term offensive catalyst, Town Wall is one of the first names that comes to my mind. Timeout call. Houston, you know, for most players Timeout. being... Players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it through the years. Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadala in Golden State. It really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. Pass to Leonard. The three. He's got it. Just two of seven from the field, though. That may not be his first choice, but Kawhi's not going to pass it up if it's there for him. Good decision to take the quick jumper off the catch. Nuaba against Powell. Nuaba, pass to Green. I live with that. Here in Shangun. Long ass last to outing with 12 points. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. That one drops for him. 20 points for him. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string play together defense. some shots to have any kind of chance. Smith with a screen on Leonard. To the paint. On the wing, Nwaba. Outside, green. Shagoon, the screen. To stop the drought. And another miss by Houston. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept oh, plays down. Oh, I thought he was going to hero ball. Leonard for three. Oh, and another Woo! three for the Clippers. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. Now we talk. And 
so it's the Los Angeles Clippers in command with a 13 point oh yeah so funny story I went to middle school with David Nawaba and Ricky the dude that uh, plays the story mode and I'm out here just playing 2k and shit huh? thanks for like tuning that. in welcome a clinic in execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for the law. I'll guarantee you something right now. They would okay, time to discuss the first half of this one. Glad you could join us. Buccaneers are beating the hell out of the Cowboys right now. As a time reference for when you watch this years later, you know what I mean? And we're ready to get this second half of our Halloween broadcast going. Calls timeout. Keep drawing up plays for MP, coach. They're working. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Out of bounds. It'll go to the. For Los Angeles, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Take a look at the Rockets. Porter Jr. and Green are the backcourt set. Smith out there with Marquise Chris. And it's Gordon in at the three. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Porter, the pass to Green. Here's Chris. And he banks in the layup. Chris has got his second bucket on the night. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. You're shaking big. defense. <laughs> what a pass to set him up. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Here's Porter. He's got 11. Who's watching him? Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. And it's Chris missing. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Here's Shake and Bake. Lays it up and mm. banks it in. He's got 26. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Porter against Wall. Well, I'm just going to fix my controller real quick. My fault. All right, we go, we go. Green for three. Hell no. no luck good on boy, that one. The Clippers go the other way with it. Takes a step back to the middle. Here's Shake and Bake. Using his post moves to get the two points. We can start to use that more They've now. been going to him an so awful I can, uh, lot upgrade that badge. I don't know why I haven't why. been doing that. He's pouring it on. Pass to Chris. Got to do that to grind up your badges too, huh? Make the most and out of here's Smith. Game. Leonard defending. Inside. Here's Shake and Bake. Chris pulls down the board. Chris has got four rebounds now. Too much spin. And here's Porter. Back to Green. And the basket by Chris. Chris has got four points this quarter. Good read from Green there. Getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. Here's Shake and Bake. And there's another one for the Clippers. That's he not is a anchored in and making a living down low tonight. Oh, the was. Rockets have gone four of eight in the third. Now Gordon. Six points for him. Pass to Smith. And so Led Auburn to a great season as a freshman, and he's just starting to tap into his potential now. Ready to prove to the entire league just how good he can be. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. Smith Jr. with incredible upside grip. 
and he's got the work ethic to make it all happen. Yeah, he really does, B.A. He's a humble guy. He puts in extra time at practice, and it really shows in his skill set. Just very advanced for his age. Outside, Green. Outside, Porter. Smith with a screen on wall. Porter. Rebounded by Shake and Bake. Los Angeles has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. And a foul call. There we go. Both spin. Two from the free throw line. That one on Shangun. Why is that so much faster? About the offensive approach we've seen so far for Los Angeles. You know, all Changing? game long, they've imposed their will on the interior. It's so much faster. A lot of points in the painted area. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off transition play. Running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense. And the Clippers making a change here. Jackson is checked in. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Pass to Shangun. On the wing, Green. Six on the shot clock. Back to Shangun. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Here's Christopher. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Leonard's got four rebounds in the game. Now here's Jackson. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Shaken Bay. And he was fouled while in the post spin technician right there. Two free throws. And Grant, you played on a Suns team whose training staff was renowned. Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players in the back end of their careers. Pass to Shake and Bake. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Is that a post spin? Give him 35. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. On the wing, Green, defended by Jackson. With the tip, controls the rebound and the putback. Changun's got five points in the quarter. Now that takes a skillful touch. Yeah, excellent control to just ease the ball back up and in. That's exactly right. No need to catch it when you've got the kind of soft hands that he does. Oh. Shake and bake misses. For oh, Houston, they've got seven of 14 right attempts to fall in the half. To the wing on the left. Here's Shangun. Drops in the layup for two. Shangun's gotten his third basket of the night. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Here's Shake and Bake, defended by Shangun. Shake and Bake. And he gets it to go. Fucking little. And the Clippers lead by 21. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Outside, Green. Pass to Christopher. Now Green. Shangun, a screen on Jackson. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Here's Shake and Bake. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's carried much of the scoring load tonight, and with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. Here's Christopher. To the inside. Tipped. Stolen by Jackson. And they're on the run. He pulls it. Oh, oh my God. God. Houston has got nothing to fall here in the try. 0 for 4. Martin finds Green. Here's Christopher. Martin a screen. To the paint. On the wing. Green. Shot clock at 5. Pass to shang -Gun. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got three assists now in this one. He wasn't able to get his name in the score sheet in the first half. 
But he looks like he's starting to find his comfort zone here. Kicks it out to Kadar. Oh, We've got 154 Ooh, that's a close third quarter. And he got the whistle. I'm not even going to say anything. Headed to the line for a pair. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the I just take my Keep time. Point at defender. No, don't worry. Don't worry about it. To the line. Finally getting himself to the free throw line. Huh. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for it. Batum's checked in for the Clippers. Oh. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Garubas checked in for Nawaba. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small in his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. And that one's good. Shake and bake. He's got 42. And, you know, they're looking good, really good right now because of trying to get to that post. He sees this game Hall of Fame. The throat, and he's squeezing hard. Nice. It's stolen by Leonard. The glove. The tomb, left side. Pass to Shake and Bake. Come to me, come to me. Uses the glass on the layup. They've toned down their three point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Here's Christopher. Outside, green. Down low. It's it like down. they just had me run away. Well, from you've them. got to appreciate the passing there. Results and a great look. Green against Jackson. Tries a 10 footer. Here's Shake and Bake. Banked it in off the glass. Oh, spin. Filipino Tim Duncan, I'm telling you, man. 36 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. And out of bounds, the Clippers will take it. It's one thing to get outplayed. Powell and George are out on the wings. Then it's Robert Covington. Then there's John Wall. And it's shake and bake in at the center position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And again, no good by the Clippers. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door yeah, well, on this. Show up, bro. Pass to Shangun. Chris with the ball. Here's Smith. George defending. Smith against George. Just five on the clock. Green for three. Rebound by the Clippers. You know, he's just chucking it up from distance this quarter. If you're oh, going to take this, this especially in the second half, you better make him. Yeah, that one's good. Post. Shake and That's bake. not a post and trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. To the paint. Here's Shengu. Oh, and he throws it just, down. He scored as much as I am. <laughs> he probably has like 30 points and shit. Up. Teamwork oh. on display. Here's Shake and Bake. Post -spin. Another one goes. Incredible. Not a post -spin. My goodness. 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Outside. Green. Pass to Shangun. Now here's Chris. Smith with it. George defending. With the 10 footer. Smith no good. And for the Clippers, their shooting is around 55% so far. Here's Shake and Bake, covered by Smith. And again! Oh, that's an and one! Way to go, MP! Thank you. Checked in for Houston. Porter Jr. comes in for Martin. And the free throw, no good. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. The Rockets have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Outside Porter. Pass to Green. Stay there, stay there. 
Back to Chris. It's hauled in by the Clippers. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Batum is checked in for the Clippers. Kennard comes in for Powell. Garuba's checked in for the Rockets. Nwaba comes in for Green. The Clippers shooting pretty well in the fourth at 48%. Pass to Shake and Bake. It goes. Jam that one home. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Left side, Porter. On the wing, Nwaba. Up top, Gordon. And that one hits the back iron. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 10-2 run here. To the inside. Here's Shake and Bake. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. This is the next step for Leonard, becoming a better distributor. Dimes like these help his cause. Ball against Porter. To the middle. Here's Gordon. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Here's Shake and Bake. Here's Kennard. It's rebounded by Houston. Porter's got his eighth rebound here tonight. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions, but Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting, kind of being engaged but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. Inside, here's Chris. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And right from the get-go, they stood out as the better team. Their hunger to dominate and play for each other was outstanding for the Clippers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And with this win, they've tallied up a total of six wins on the year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. We know familiarity breeds contempt. I would expect things to become more heated as these teams face each other going forward. And what a huge performance it was for Shake and Bake. A quality offensive out. So no problem for the Clippers. Zimpy. Oh, Jake, my man. Hey, you have been getting after it out there. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying. I'm I mean, trying. doing more than trying. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, uh, I wanted to tell you that you were 100% right. Mm -hmm. Staying in your lane and leading by being yourself, man. Mm -hmm. that, that right there gave the team a little bit of a jolt and uh, turned some fans' heads in a way. Uh, you turned one fan's head, that's for sure. I'm beginning to think you are exactly what this team needs. Wow. That's, that right there is powerful, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, don't mention it. Look, I got a, a jet, but I'll be seeing you around. All right. I'll be seeing you soon, man. All right. That was Jake Duval, y'all. That was Jake Duval. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
Wow. Total domination from start to finish tonight. What happened out there? The game was over before it started. You got that right, Nate. Oh, man, you know, things got out of hand so early. We was on the sideline chilling, you know, watching the crowd, you know, during the fourth quarter. <laughs> and there were some beautiful people in that arena tonight, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I saw you pointing at a couple fans mm -hmm. in the front row, talking to them. So what was that all about, though? Oh, man, homie had some fly threads, man. I was just, I was watching him. You know, I, I hit him, was like, yo, we, we a tailor, you know? <laughs> so he, he gave me the details on that. So, you know, next time I'm in Paris, Go shopping out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it'd be great for your budget. <laughs> Good game, man. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you guys turned it on tonight and didn't yeah, let yeah, yeah. up. Really great game. All night, every day. What did it feel like? It felt good, man. We're just developing a uh, contender killer instinct. Nate. You know what I mean? You know it is, Let me Nate. tell you this. Listen. We developing that killer instinct. You listen, I'm so instead you. of letting teams hang around and giving them hope, we turning it up on them Ooh, and we good. shutting them down. Mm. And Ooh. that's what it takes to become a contender. Take their neck. <laughs> okay. So you feel like this is a preview of how you're gonna play in the postseason? Yeah. I sure hope so. Nate, look at me. Obviously the opposition gonna be <laughs> tough, but so will we. Mm. We are improving you ever think every about that, week. Nate? And come playoff time, we expect to stand toe to toe with anyone in the league. Can you hear me, Nate? Ooh, can't wait to see that. Come on, it's Not coming, man. Right. <laughs> Congrats, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ashley in the office. Let's talk to Ashley at the office. Ashley, what you got for me, baby girl? Hey. Cook here. Okay. Were you looking to talk? Now. To me? Okay, I'm coming over right yes, now. Sit. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. Where would you like me to sit? Anywhere? Let me know. Oh my gosh! No, what? I'm not talking to you. Oh. <laughs> you know, Ricky did mention that earlier. Uh, how old is she? <laughs> they, dogs, plural. Sorry. They're basset hounds and Benny and Bjorn, they're fighting again as per usual. And then that agitates Frida. So now she went and she stole Agnetha's squeaky because she's a chewer. She likes to chew. And now she's under the bed. But that's Ulf's spot. And so now Ulf's crammed cool, in there that, with Jonas. That, that sounds like a lot of dogs, but anything you got for me? Oh, yes. Uh, do you remember that little puff piece I was telling you about? No, I don't. It doesn't matter. So I lined something up. All with right. You, all with right. John. Luck. Okay, he is perfect for this. He is nice. He's easy. He's helpful. He's just like my little baby. Yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, and he's gonna make you look great. Got he's you. gonna do it today. Perfect. Once, once I give him a call, once because obviously call, it is I only like, if he thinks I it's a good feel idea. Like you gave him a call already. Yeah. Did you? Or did you not? I just thought, I thought you think it was a good idea. It is a good idea. Obviously. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, do you always compare us to your dogs, or is this something new, a new little hobby? Jonas is Ricky, and then Jenny's Mila. <laughs> okay. I'm Benny, and you're Bjorn. So you got a little bit of Frida in you. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Uh, Frida so Wood. I would, <laughs> I would like to get some more information about this uh, meetup, and I will meet up with John. How's that sound? Sounds oh, true, right. Bjorn. Yeah, you should. Huh. Oh, so we dog. So oh, I'm a good dog. I'm a good so boy. good and so I'm a good boy. <clears throat> All right, let's see what that's about later, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to end it for this episode, y'all. 
I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, peace. Much love.